Firewall is more or less done ish. Gonna use some fire resistance silicone thing between the gaps and also on the floor. The last plate for the floor is just shoved in and bolted in place because these two rear plates it was flush with the rest of the car, uh, but the subframe is further up from about here and to make it easier for myself and maybe to be able to drive the car this year I just got tired and put a plate on it and bolted it I also put some wood thing it's not easy to see <laughs> can I get a wood piece, piece of wood piece of wood between between the plates and the subframe force it in <laughs> and then I'm gonna remove the piece of wood afterwards um, these plates should really be have some kind of profile to them but I don't have time to 
or I don't have the, uh, the equipment, the tools to do it. So what I did was just welded the plates together, bolted and welded, so the plates would warp and <laughs> the gaps would be tighter. So now it's almost no uh, wobbling. I think. Also bought this handbrake handle thing. Um, same one. Wanna be a so uh, this is the same handbrake as Eric has. He modified it to to be able to fit this uh, this button, so he can have rolling anti-lag and also launch control to the button. He also made one for me, and I'm gonna have more or less the same setup as as he has. The tunnel is almost done, welded and sealed with this silicone rubber thing on the inside of the car. I'm also going to do the same for the underneath. And I'm going to prime it and paint it some kind of silver color. Also going to fix this hole. 